This is part two of CSS styling HTML tables. We're going to be working on styling the table and the table rows in this video. A quick review of where we're going within these videos. We're going to be styling the simple HTML table, creating a sold to, ship to, and summary of an invoice, laying them out right and left, and clearing our summary. We're going to be working on our table below, which we're going to stylize our rows and our headings and our columns. So this is where we left off at the end of video number one. We've created our sold to and our ship to area. We've done coloring and we've taken our summary and cleared it from the area that our sold to and our ship to reside in. Let's go ahead and start working on styling our table. So the first thing we're going to do in our table is we're going to make sure it's cleared away from our summary area. So we'll work with the clear property and tell it to clear both sides. And we're going to give a width to our property and we're going to use a percentage this time, 100%. So we'll take up all of the available space of our page minus the margins or padding that we've given to our body. And we're going to tell our borders here to collapse so that they're not double width or anything. We're just going to have a single width upon our borders. Okay, so the next thing we want to work on is our table heading. Table headers. We're going to go ahead and tell it have a border bottom of three pixels. We're going to make it black and it's going to be solid. So I'm going to jump down here in my code to the table row and we're going to work with an nth child and we're going to make it an even, every even number within our table rows is going to have a color. So we're going to give it a background color of that same light brown, light tan that we used in our ship to and soul to area which is hashtag E O E O D1. Sounds like I'm doing a song there, doesn't it? Okay, so that should take care of what we're going to be doing in this video. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to reload it and we should see some differences here. And there we go. We've got a heading with our border solid at the bottom. Our even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 have a background. And keep watching. We're going to start working with aligning and working with our table cells next.